I'm not coming in here with a vendetta or to act tough and demand a trade, but I really feel like a change of scenery is what I need for my career right now. You think that request is something you can honor? I'd like to ask you a question if you don't mind. What is the reason behind you wanting to play for another team? Was it something I did? Mm, that's not as easy to answer as it may seem, man. It's just time for me to move on. You know, it's time for me to continue growing as a person. That's it. I see. Well, I'm not going to lie. You were definitely one of my favorite guys on the team here. I had really high hopes for you. I hope you'll reconsider your trade request, but in the meantime, why don't you give me the names of a few teams you'd like to play for and I'll reach out to their GMs. Hey, yo. Don't even worry about Irving tonight, guys. He won't have an inch to move when I get all over him on D. <laughs> you feel me? And once that happens, they're done. So let's do this. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. Now, yes, I did ask for a trade. I am trying to go to the Philadelphia 76ers, if you guys didn't know. Now, when it comes to my career, when I'm playing casual, I like to play more conservative than just isolate, isolate, pick and roll, pick and roll. So what I do is just run the play and move out the way. The reason why I move out the way is because a lot of times with the clock winding down, I may pass it to a player and he may give it right back to me with probably about three seconds left. So if you don't want to play hot potato, stay out of the way, stay out of the ball trajectory because you're going to be involved. Now, the reason why I showed this clip is because Kyrie Irving already has two fouls and we're not even a full uh, four minutes into the game. Now, it kind of ticked me off a little bit because now I'm going up against Jared Jack and he's somewhat of no challenge. And with my great soccer intuition, yes, I play FIFA 14, psych, I'm just trolling 2K. I was able to kick the ball loose and we were able to get a nice jump shot off. Now, what I can tell you guys is that I did change my jump shot. I ended up changing it to Steve Nash's jump shot with a quick release. And the reason for this is because it seems like when I played against the Lakers, Steve Nash couldn't miss a shot. So I ended up changing it to that just to see how it would fare. Now, you guys can probably see I'm calling the isolation because of a broken fast break play. And Tyreek definitely, you know, stepped into his range, took the right shot. I thought he was going to pull up for three. Now, as I got subbed back in from getting subbed out in the first quarter, I noticed we were up 10 points. And I said, how are we up 10 points? So I ended up pressing start, looking at the game stats, and I noticed something. I noticed that Kyrie Irving had 12 points. I said, when in the hell did he get 12 points? So, you know, it seems to me that whenever I go up against somebody that's in foul trouble, when they sub me in, they sub him out. When they sub him in, they sub me out. So I was thinking that this was really going to be a key game versus Kyrie Irving when in fact this was a key game against Jared Jack all game long. Like I went up against Deion Waiters, Jared Jack, only went up against Kyrie a few different times. Now Drew Holiday is in the game, right? And I'm like, all right, we got the two point guard thing going for ourselves. And I'm like, Thorn. What can I possibly do to get these guys involved? And if they don't move around, I end up just going in myself. Now, I can score at will. That's a given. I can get 100 points, 150, maybe even 200 points, but I choose to try to involve my team. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going with that statement like, you trying to get your team involved? How are you trying to get your team involved when you only got two assists? And I'm like, you know what? I'll show you a little bit later. But did you guys see my kickball soccer FIFA 14 move right there? Now nah, y'all didn't peep it. Um, I think Steezma might have headbutted the ball from half court to me. Never mind. I'm just trolling. But uh, check out the nice little ball movement by Cleveland. Now, I told you guys, them jump shots, man, they're hard to fall. <laughs> they're so hard to fall. So, you know, Andrew Branham got the nice little putback. Now, Deion Waiters, don't, don't think that he would score them points on me. But check out this play right here. I just wanted to show y'all this. Yeah, y'all about to get a replay. Um, 2K. They told us, you know, after IGN did their little video that the leaning layup was still in the game. But I think what it is is it's a part of the Euro 
uh, class, or if you want to call it package, when you Euro step. Whenever you take contact from the Euro, I think you Euro and then it's either leaning layup or you force your way in, you go up under the defender. It's a couple different animations that you can catch. Now, you guys see that they're playing their foul line, triple team defense, and I go in with another Euro. That's another animation. I Euroed, but it seemed like I took a little bit too many steps. I think, it was, I, think I took about 10 steps, which is pretty cool, right? No? Okay. I, I, I'm not going to troll no more for the rest of this video, but I just want to show you this nice little quick isolation play. I finally got Kyrie Irving on me, and I want to take advantage of him. Yes, we're the same size, but when it comes to this post game, I make it do what it do. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now, we're up by maybe about a few points, and I noticed that Jared Jack is back in the game, which, you know, pisses me off again. So I decide to go on my assist here. Now I know a lot of people are like, yeah, how do you get assists? How do you make it look so easy? Well, I go with the pick and roll. And when the pick and roll doesn't work, I use the double team that comes to me. Also, I use Anthony Davis as a great alley-oop guy. Now, the reason for this is, whenever I run the pick and roll, I don't just pass it as soon as the person rolls. I actually take my way to the paint or to the outside and wait till it's a nice window open so when I pass it, nobody will be able to just tap it out of the air or, you know, kick it, you know, because stuff like that happens in 2K. But um, this specific play, I actually got kicked ball myself, you know, he kicked it, it rolled down the other end of the court and he ended up dunking it, but it's all good, it happens. Now, I'm about to put the moves on Kyrie. He acting like I ain't that boy, you know. So, I go back to my little blue circle. I'm standing there. So, you know, I call for it. I'm like, he ain't going to do nothing. So, I call for a pick and roll, trying to get another assist to go. And I pass it out to the boy Evans because, obviously, they keyed in on the pick and roll. So, after a few pick and rolls, once you start doing it, the guard will actually come up and try to get you. Now, I told you guys, I'm going to keep trying to pass it out. You know, whenever the clock is winding down, I only pass it with, like, five seconds left on the clock. You know, other than that, I'm not going to pass it, man. I'm just going to take the shot myself or try to get it to the roll guy. Now, one mistake Kyrie did right there was try to guard me full court. Now, one big thing. When they start guarding you full court, you always take advantage of that to get your assist. Because right now, I have a double-double. If they wouldn't have pressed me full court, it probably would have took me a little bit longer to get the double-double off. But Kyrie... Still being the guy that he is, hit a great shot. It really doesn't matter. You know, they're down seven, two minutes left, and I'm on the court. So it really doesn't matter. So we go to another full court situation. I take it all the way down the other end of the court for the and one. Kyrie, fifth personal foul. He's pissed off. He's mad at me. He cursing me out as I go to the line. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm like, Kyrie. I almost called him Riri for a second. You know, I, I, I ain't want to disrespect the man, but I'm just saying. But uh, look, this game is over. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get right at you guys right after this player of the game. We did win it. I know you guys probably like, did you win? Did you win? Of course we won, bro. Come on. I'm the man. But uh, let's get into the player of the game, and then I'm going to see you all in the press conference. Alright you guys, I just wanted to tell you one quick thing before we went to the press conference. Always go to the social media tab to see the social challenge. If you win the social challenge, you get 250 extra VC when you play the game. So go in there if you gotta get rebounds, assists, or whatever, do what you gotta do. Word is spreading around the league that you've made it known you aren't happy here and want to be shipped to another team. Can you set the record straight? Yeah, I've talked with management. 
I ain't got nothing to hide. I've got my eye on a different situation. And I'm just trying to see what it would take to get that to play out. The number one priority for me is to always do what's in my own best interests. We'll see what happens. I know I'm a valuable asset, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're able to work something out. Hey, man, I, I feel like we previously came to an understanding that it would be best if we parted ways, but here I am. So, uh, what's the holdup in processing my trade request? I recall our conversation, trust me. I'm currently shopping you to a number of teams, but it's my responsibility as the GM of this team to get the best deal I can in return. At the same time, we had some good times here, and I want to make sure you end up on a team where you'll be happy. Just trust that I'm going about this the right way, so we're both happy. Well, my patience is starting to wear thin, man. I'm just letting you know. I'm trying to stay professional, but this is taking longer than I would have liked. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.